Okay, so here we have the iPad, my iPad Pro. I have my Apple Pencil. I don't know if I can actually use this with this, so I just took it out and put it to the side. I have my vinyl that I'm going to use. This is a silver vinyl. And then we have our Cricut Joy machine. And what I'm going to actually do today is create, I'm working on a bling cup. This is, I just have this one just to show you as a sample of a cup that I blinged out for someone else. So for my cup, I'm going to put my name on it. So we're in the design space. I've already typed my name here. So with my name here, I'm going to actually um, move the spacing and adjust the spacing closer together. So I'm going to show you how I do that on the iPad, okay? So we go into edit. And here you'll see letter space and line space. We want to deal with letter spacing because I don't like the spacing. I want everything to kind of go closer together, especially where they're in loops. So I'm going to adjust the letter space here, touch it, and then just go down, hit the minus sign, keep hitting the minus sign until you get the spacing that you like. All right, now with this one, I noticed that the A isn't touching, but the C is a little overlap. So let's do that. And then let's do. Edit. Edit. Okay. So we got the letter spacing to um, 1.6, okay? Minus 1.6. So what I'll do now is click on Actions and I'll click Weld. So it's going to weld it all together. And when it welds it together, you can see where it connected and it did a blank out space. So let's undo that. Let's do Actions, Actions, click on the word, Actions. Let's click on Attach. Um, and I think it did that because of the font. Let's just do a basic block letter font. So let's do text. Okay, so here we have the name. I want to actually, since I don't want everything to go together in a line through the through my um, pad and connect because it's all in a block font. What I'm going to do is now is just adjust the size. You can do it this way by dragging the cursor up and down like that. Or you can go into actions. Sorry, not actions. I meant edit. So you go click it back into edit. And then we can adjust the width and the height here. You'll touch the width. You'll adjust it by going down. Um, I'm going to adjust it down to three. Okay, it's going to 3.02. So since I can't get it even three, you can always go that way. Okay. And then a height, we want the height around three as well. So let's go. Okay, so there we have, there's the name, okay? Can you see it good? Okay, so there we've typed our name into the design space. I'm going to move the cup now out of the way because we're going to bring the joy over closer. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to cut. So let's go to make it at the bottom here. I can't see because my hand's in the way. Let me get my pen. So right here in this corner where my pen is located, you'll see this is the green C means make it. So let's touch the green C or make it. It says, how will you load all of your materials for this project? So we're going to do, it says without a mat is for Cricut Smart Materials only on a mat for any material, on card mat for pre-folded cards. So I'm not using a Cricut Smart Material for this one for today. This is something that I just had kind of lying around the house. So we're going to have to get our mat. So let me get the mat out. Okay. 
So here's the mat that came with that. Open it up. I haven't used it previously, so we're going to get that open for you. Okay. And let me see, does it have a film as well? Let's have that film on the top, so I'll place that there behind it. Okay. So here we have our mat. So I had some paper, but so that it fits on the mat, it needs to trim down about an inch. Okay. So let me get my paper trimmer, which I have here. Okay. And then I'm just going to trim some of this off. It's a Cricut paper trimmer. I bought this when I bought my Cricut Air Gold. It came. It was a set that they had all the tools with it. So that's where I got that from. Let's see if we are down enough. Are perfect. Okay. So then I'm just going to actually this is iron on. So because it's iron on, I'm going to flip it over. Because remember, we have to whenever you use iron on for cutting, you cut on the backing of the paper okay so I'm going to put on mat for any material there okay, let me bring it back in so you can let me adjust the camera so you can see what I'm doing all right there we go so I clicked on create and then I clicked on the type of material that I'm using which is on a mat because I'm using a non cricket smart material okay so let's do so I do need to mirror because we are doing this on an iron on it's on mat is what it has here and material size so I'm just playing with it to look at the option so on here it gives you the option of 4.5 by 6.5 of or a 4.5 by 12. So we have a 4, so let's go with the 4.5 by 6.5. So we'll go back. Okay. So I wonder do they allow you to click rearrange? That's just going to move it on the mat. So let's go with it. Okay, and we can see how we do. So we want to click continue here all right so now it's asking me that's what I was looking for so now it's asking me to actually select my material so here I'm using vinyl vinyl smart vinyl iron on Okay, here we go. So I click on all materials. Let's look at all materials. It's going to give us, let's do everyday iron on. Okay, it says make sure, it says make sure mirror is turned on and iron on material is facey, shiny side down. That's what I previously said. Great. It says load tools and material, load fine point blade, which is already in my machine and load material into the machine. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way and move the machine over so we can get the machine in the frame so here's the joy I'm going to pull this over here out of the way so I can see as I'm cutting I'll move this here on the side okay so now we're going to actually just trying to make sure we're in frame here we're going to actually load this into the machine so it says load material into the machine and then tap go so I'm gonna push it up and there's no button like on your normal machine which looks at your material and all of that it just once you put it up into it it has an automatic roll feeder it recognizes that you're loading and it automatically pulls it that's wonderful I like that part great okay so let's click go and now it's going to prepare to cut so far so good it took a little learning curve there because I'm used to the bigger machines but that's to be expected so now it's cutting
Okay, so now that I'm complete with that, I'm going to bring this in. So you can see here it says unload material. Project is complete. Unload your material. So I'm going to click unload. All right, and it kicked it out. And it did cut. I know you probably can't see that on camera, but it did cut the line. So I'm going to pull it off. And from just previous experience with heat transfer vinyl, I know that I will have to cut. So give me one second to grab my scissors. Okay. So I'm going to cut that excess off so I can save that and use that again. I like to save. And so I did notice you can move it around so that you can conserve your paper to the best, to your best. Here we go. I'm just using my weeding tool and taking that excess off so you can see the cut. Wonderful. Good, perfect cut. We'll weed all of the excess out of the way. All right, there you go. So that's our first adventure with cutting with the Cricut Joy using the iPad. So I learned a lot. I'm going to keep playing with it and we'll try something different on the next go round. Alright, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope that was some good information for you. I hope that you learned with me because there is a learning curve with this new machine. So thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Oh, and don't forget to get to creating.